Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for July 18th to the 24th. This is for Virgo Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional Celtic cross spread and I use uh, astrology and my guides to help bring a little bit more clarity to your reading uh, and to get more specific with what's going on for you this week. Okay, so Virgo, Sun and Rising, as we know, this is a big week, okay? A lot of activity moving into Leo, Sun's moving into Leo, Mercury's moving into Leo. This is pretty big. I was, if you saw my uh, July uh, reading, you, uh, I talked about the changing of the guards from Cancer to Leo. Pretty significant shift. There's a couple oppositions happening. We'll see if that comes up in your reading. Uh, but the theme of the week with all that activity in Leo, because Leo is like passion and authority and leadership, uh, it really is eye of the tiger okay and the reason i say eye of the tiger is because i want you to think of that 80s song but i also want you to think of that Katy perry song roar all right i want you to take action i mean this is a big 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 week for you virgo this is a really big week for you i know that leo is a lion but if that confuses you just think spirit animal all right so virgo as we know jupiter and aries is already in your eighth house so you could have been having some uh activity around money other people's money maybe investments maybe uh your partner uh had uh some sort of change with salary let's get to the bottom of it all right especially with all that activity happening in leo virgo that is your 12th house in your subconscious uh wouldn't be surprised if some cards come up regarding that but let's go ahead and get started with your reading now virgo Oh, also, I'm still on my road trip. Did I say that? I'm still on my road trip, so I'm not in my natural setting, uh, not in my apartment in Brooklyn, but uh, I'm somewhere in Washington, D.C. at this beautiful hotel, and I'm going to hold the cards up because this is the only kind of arrangement where I could do it, where uh, you could kind of see the spread, but I'll hold them up closer so you can see what's going on now. If you're new to my channel, it would be great if you like and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. And if you are a sub or subscriber, I really appreciate it. And I'm very grateful. All right. So I want you to know that. Now, Virgo. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> you got two pages here. You got a challenge card, but listen. We're gonna get through this, okay? Now, Virgo, you did get the nine of cups, all right? So it looks like something could have cut, like a dream, or not, sorry, not a dream, a wish could have come true. This is a card where it, you know, at the end of the day, it is the wish come true card fulfillment, right? Uh, you can see the cups over his head, so there's a lot of like uh, enlightenment there because it's all over your crown. This is really great. So something could have, something really great could have happened for you, Virgo. And I am getting a message of love too, especially because we did have that full moon in Capricorn last week in your fifth house of love. Okay, and when I say love, it could be new relationship. It could have been this newfound. Um, uh, with your family, there could have been something that was so special that happened, something that was really nice, okay? Now, listen, here's the thing. We, you got the King of Cups and the heart of your spread, all right? And so I love this energy, okay? On top of his emotions, this is where we all want to be. The King is really, sorry, my dog is like, what? There you go, okay. Now, back to where I was. Obviously, I don't have like a crew of whatever. Anyway, um, here we go. King of Cups, heart of the spread, King of Cups, so emotionally stable that his throne is literally on top of water. That's how stable he is. That is the heart of what's going on this week. You are on top of your emotions. You're on top of your game. Virgo, things are really, 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 they will be great for you this week, okay? Emotionally, all right? Now, here's the funny thing. This is a lot of power and authority, too. Think about the king, right? And the cups. It's all about love. It's all about emotions, right? And so, king, if you think about the queen, that's a little bit more internal, right? King, external. So, feeling that emotion and knowing it, having that power around it, 
lot of confidence there. I love that. You did get the Page of Wands uh, in your challenge area. Uh, here's the thing. Page of Wands, I call him the dreamer, all right? Page of Cups is a dreamer too, but Page of Wands, listen, when I say dreamer, I'm talking about enterprise, I'm talking about career, I'm talking about work, I'm talking about ideas, right? And so this is like something new. This is him finding something new. Look at him so compelled by the wand, right? came up in your challenge area. So there could be a lack of enthusiasm, right? There could be a lack of something that is, I want you to, Virgo, at one point this week, take a moment to think about your routine, your daily routine. I want you to think about doing something new, okay? Even if it is something that you already do, I'll make an analogy. Let's say, um, oh my gosh, this is gonna be the, the, the silliest analogy. Let's say like you rake the leaves from your lawn, okay? I want you to think about doing it in a different way, all right? Does that make sense? That I feel like, there, I feel like there's a lack of inspiration, okay? Even though you are on top of your emotions, you have a lot of power with that right now, and that brings a lot of confidence. I feel like there's a lack of inspiration because of the Page of Wands in the challenge area, okay? Especially when it comes to career, too. Maybe there's just something, there's a disconnect between your job and, and you, right? So, I want you to consider that. Remember, I said you also got the Page of Swords, okay? So this came up in your crown, and this just means you're ready to go, all right? This week, you're gonna be ready to go mentally. Sword suit, okay? Page, just like the Page of Wands. Page is the newbie, right? Not yet, a, not yet a knight, not yet a king, not yet a queen. Newbie, okay? New energy now. He's ready to go. You are too. The problem is, you got the Three of Hearts. <laughs> Three of Swords, sorry. Three of Swords in your root, okay? So there is a little bit of um, heartbreak. And I don't know if, listen, everyone goes through heartbreak. And I don't mean that all lives matter to you. I'm just saying that if there is something that you're going through right now, know that it isn't the universe singling you out. It's that we have to go through these emotional moments to grow from them and to learn from them. Now, here's something I'm gonna point out. This wish that you got, is it, is it a wish that you actually wanted? That's something you should consider, okay? Because sometimes, well, I'm gonna just show you something here. You can see his arms crossed, all right? And the fact that it came to, just reading the rest of your spread here, you can see his arms are crossed, kind of a little arrogant, almost closing himself off but i wonder if that is something <sighs> vi not vibing with you the wish that came all right or this thing that was like fulfilled i wonder if it just wasn't something that you were really really deep down inside wanting because you you know with the three of swords this is a heartbreak card okay that is an enlarged heart okay you can see that there stormy too now Virgo, I really want you to just spend some time this week thinking about, you have so much emotional control. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, all right? Deep down inside, something's, something's hurt you, okay? <laughs> Four of Wands, all right? So, there could have been something that happened that, uh, you were not cool with. It could have been something with your family, it could have been something with friends, it could have been something that happened with like a best friend, your squad, whatever it is. There is something that probably, they could have celebrated something, there could have been some sort of milestone. Um, something that you may have not been cool with. Maybe it should have been you, you know? Maybe it should have been you, but listen, at the end of the day, you did get the five, of wands, all right? This came in your future area. So again, a card of conflict, a card of challenge. These are five people who just do not see eye to eye. A lot of arguing, okay? A lot of ego at play here, all right? 
a um, lot of different ideas, different opinions, but take a closer look. You can see that they're not even hitting each other. They're basically swinging their wands in the air, all right? Now, when I say ego at play here, that's a lot of ego at play. Now, what I want you to do, Virgo, because it seems like even though you will be on top of your emotions this week, it might be a little bit of a show because there is some heartbreak. Yeah, you're going to have to. I want you to take some time to really dig deep this week, all right? I want you to do a little bit of soul searching this week, Virgo, all right? Listen, with the Five of Wands, the good news about the Five of Wands is that you can come out of this being the better person, all right? You can come out of this being the leader. You can come out of this being not only the better person in the situation, but a better version of yourself. Now, with all that activity going into Leo, like I said, that is your 12th house, okay? That is your 12th house of the subconscious, but also hidden enemies, all right? And I'm seeing a lot of that here, and some of them not so hidden. Um, but in the end, you did get the hermit, okay? And so the hermit, he does some soul searching, right? That's what he's known for. He's time to climb the top of the hill. What is a hermit known for wanting to be alone? He's made some accomplishments, wants to be alone to do some soul searching, all right? How do we know that? Because he's holding a lantern. You can only see so far with lantern light. How do you see further than that? You look within yourself, that's where the light is. Virgo, I want you to spend some time doing some soul searching, okay? Um, that is your card too. <laughs> so, please, yes, please, please, please. Um, okay, let's get to your staff. Virgo, I love you. And I just want you to know that with all this happening this week, which it feels like it could be an emotional week for you and it could be something where you might be in your head a lot, all right? And that's fine. Um, when I say you might be in your head a lot, I want you to try to focus that energy toward your soul. And I know that sounds so like out there, but I really want you to uh, think about more of trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, right? I want that. I want that instead of being in your head. Now, you did get the eight of swords, okay? And so when I say being in your head, there is no other card that reflects that more than the eight of swords, okay? This is almost like another card where it feels again like are you really happy okay because here's the thing she put herself there she put that blindfold on no one else did it she bound herself okay in her head she thinks these swords are a fortress where in fact it's a prison okay you can see that there's water sure but there's also dirt so muddled clarity all right but this really is, you know, a card of just feeling just trapped, isolated. But again, you putting yourself there. And so I want you to take, um, well, eight are active, okay? I want mean, you to take some action to get yourself out, okay? Remember, I want you to focus all that, doing some soul searching, getting out of your head. And I know it's easier said than done, okay? I know it's easier said than done because, or well, I know it's easier said than done, but you don't have to do it alone, all right? There's people in your life you can reach out to whenever you need help, all right? Secondly, you did get the Four of Pentacles, all right? I don't want you to be surprised by this card because it's come up literally in everyone's spreads, and I'm not even joking. I go by an order, okay? And I spend a good five to 10 minutes shuffling and then putting all, directing all my energy and all that to the next sign, okay? come up in everyone's reading everyone's now I know that we're going through an inflation I know the stock market is a little wobbly I know like I'm on a road trip I've been paying six bucks a gallon for gallus gas like if there's anyone who knows he's feeling this but listen this came up in your external factors area so I want you to just know there could be a moment where you this week you will be thinking about your money and your savings and maybe your salary and maybe just you know your checking account where your money's going i want you to really think about uh how you can be a little bit more frugal but also how you can be smart about investing as well 
okay? Money is gonna be a thing, all right? It's gonna be a thing that you're gonna be focusing on. Especially with, you know, the fact that, I think I said earlier, uh, with Jupiter and Aries, that is your eighth house of others people, uh, other people's money. And when I say other people, other, I can't even say it, um, other people's money, it really is just like shared resources, right? And so it can be anything from bonuses and commissions to your partner's income to, uh, you know, investments, inheritance, those sort of things, all right? So you may see activity around there, okay? And you did get the five of cups. So I, it is going to be, it seems like it's going to be a concern of yours. This is a concern of loss and disappointment, okay? Now, again, spilt cups, all right? And listen, full cups behind him. All you have to do is look up and turn the other way, but this is just focusing on some loss. So you, I mean, I hate to say it, but there may be some loss with income, all right? There may be some loss of income, um, but the good news is new income coming through okay new money coming through i clarify the five you got the page of pentacles now here's the thing virgo that's your third page pages usher in new change okay out of the court cards out of all the minor arcanas after the ace they usher in the most new change you got three pages all right so that's good names all right a lot of new beginnings coming through all right Page of Pentacles, new money, all right? You see all that yellow? We love that, okay? That's a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of sunlight, okay? So, remember that. New beginnings with money now. You also got the Ten of Cups. You just want to be happy at the end of the day. You just want to be happy. I get it, okay? Virgo, listen, this is complete joy. I mean, that rainbow, it really is, you know, a promising future, right? Happy family, happy home, happy life. I, I, I do want you to think positive this week, okay? I do want you to think positive and, you know, Virgo, listen, if you've watched my readings in the past, you know I talk about energy a lot. All right, we can get into it. If you want to get into it, we can get into it. We can talk about how Albert Einstein himself said everything is made of energy. Nikolai Tesla himself said everything is made of energy. I mean, we can talk about how it's down to the molecular level. We can talk about how quantum physics is a magical thing and all of this stuff is real. All of this stuff is real. The lower the vibration, the lower our frequency. I want you to think positive. I want you to not only think positive, feel positive, okay? It's gonna raise your vibration levels. And I want you to do that this week because you want it okay i wouldn't be recommending it if it didn't show up in your cards you did get the ten of cups in the place where it's uh like your hopes all right now queen of pentacles when i say i don't want you to worry i don't want you to worry all right this is your final outcome area this is money all right in fact this is her sitting in the throne she is so much financial success so much financial independence this is the final outcome okay so it looks like it might be a bumpy ride i think that i did say in the beginning of the uh of the reading um astrologically there are a couple oppositions sure right you know the sun is going to oppose pluto yeah and mercury is going to oppose pluto right so um even toward the end of the week all right venus is squaring jupiter but you know at the end of the day you did get the Queen of Pentacles. So even though there might be some inward reflection you need to do, especially finding that source of inspiration, feeling inspired again in terms of what you want, okay? Money, all right? Money, 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 Page of Pentacles. So um, I don't want you to worry about money. If something does happen where you do lose uh, like a, a, your job and God forbid that happens okay uh, but if there's something that happens or even if your stocks go down or some there's some sort of loss I want you to know it's temporary because all this newness is coming in okay but remember Virgo I want you to get out of your head a bit all right get out of your head and bring your energy levels up and I want you to think of all the positive things that happen that are happening in your life because that's going to help okay nostalgia also proven to be 
so good for our mental health, for our well-being, for you know improving uh, just our wellness. So find moments of joy from the past, okay? If you have to reach out to friends from your past, just hearing their voice or uh, whatever you need to do, I just really, really want you to focus on raising your energy levels this week, Virgo, all right? Um, but again, don't worry because all this newness, you got the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, all right? I love you, Virgo. I love you so much. My mom's a Virgo. I'm looking out for her all the time. But I love you, Virgo, and I will see you next week. All right, thanks.